Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with The Rising of the Shield Hero Season 2 Episode Number 6 Reaction. Okay, the previous episode, um, we meet Lark, Race and Glass and uh, the question was why were they here? Uh, according to them, they are here to bring back and like, you know, defeat the person who is the reason for all of this happening here, the person who is controlling their spirit tortoise, that person is from their world, and uh, they, like, you know, they are here to bring him back and teach him a lesson. So, <coughs> obviously, they were like, like, yeah, we don't need to fight now. You have your own thing to do. We have our own mission to do. So let's just you know like ignore each other and that's what they decided they decided to go each other's way obviously uh lark did say that will you help us out but <laughs> but now was like no you do your job i'm i'm going to do my job and uh, yeah so now the thing that happened is we do uh meet the guy he's the book uh, like you know vassal weapons like you know hero and uh, he kind of tricked Therese, uh, Lark and Glass in a different direction while here Naofumi's team is in front of the so-called heart which was like a fake one and uh, he tells us that he's basically here doing all of this because because he like, you know he didn't want to do this in his world because people know what people will be suspicious and people will get him that's why he just came to a different world and he's like ah let's do it here and uh, now we still don't know what his actual goal is or is there even a goal but he goes out of there and uh, you know like later on host gets to remember everything and uh, by the end of it we get to know from the book vas uh, like another book book hero that actually host is the heart like he like you know all of us could have avoided everything if we killed host and since she has a connection to the heart of the spirit tortoise host forgot about that and after coming here she remembered you know after that final section so that's why the book uh, hero was a little bit worried but yeah we weren't able to understand and uh, that's why we came here and his plan is still ongoing now i i do wonder like you know even if they were even if now was able to realize that um ost was actually the heart and all the trouble could have been avoided if you just killed her i wonder if they would have done it that's like a thing probably not but yeah who knows like nothing we can say about that so yeah let's see what happens here this is episode number six uh, i'm guessing we're, we're going to fight with the book hero so let's see what happens all right so I'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, true, true. All right, so yeah, so we'll fight now. Oh boy. Yeah, the queen needs to stop. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh wow, it's like a, okay. Head and heart. Oh my god, that's why. He was just biting, yeah. He was just waiting for it to regenerate. Oh, there they are. So they came here. Wow, they, they just helped the enemy, great. These three are so ridiculous. They didn't. Then they're not okay. They could have easily come with now for me, and did this a team effort in a way. They, they could have did, done it in like a teamwork way, but no, they had to go in alone. 
Oh god. Whoa, Fitoria is here. I was not expecting that. Okay, I was really not expecting Fitoria coming. Wow, Fitoria is so big and now like look at her. She's just this tiny in front of spirit tortoise. Like that really shows how huge the spirit tortoise is. My god. Oof. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> All right. There you go. I'm also surprised. Like why is telepathically communicating all right oh no oh my god she just deflected it yo all right Hmm. Okay. Whoa, what the what is happening? Oh <laughs> they're here. Oh my god. Why is this guy so confident? Like what's the reason for his confidence? He's heavily outnumbered. Wow. The problem is that you're a scum. Oh my god, the book is really doesn't, the book really doesn't want to, okay. Wow. Ah! Nice. Yeah, this is our word. So. Oh my god, these three, like, they're in pain, I realize that. But I really can't be sympathetic towards them. They're so... Oh god. Oh my... Whoa! Damn! Oh my- mm. Damn, she can fly! Hey yo, move! Yeah! Why are you guys standing here? Exactly! Move! It's like- yeah, okay, there you go. I have to say, his power is very cool, you know? Um, the book he wrote. Like, you know, the book pages, kind of. <laughs> All right. Okay, so... Ah, uh, bye. Oh, no. What the hell is that? It's still not your power, it's someone else's power. What is this guy even talking about?
I want someone to smash his head in. This guy's annoying me now. I really want... You know what? Oh my god, this guy's pissing me off. This guy's pissing me off. Oh my god, the, the, the rage shield is going to come up, I think. Can someone please kill him? Why are the villains in this show so annoying? Like... All the villains in this show are just so annoying. Okay. Wait, who who's that? Oh wait, oh that's Grisha. How can she stand up? Maybe maybe because she has the How can she, how can she walk? Yeah, like... Exactly, I was just saying that. What is this guy yammering about? Like, trash... Trash garbage, what is, what is this guy even like... What? Damn the okay. Oh my god Please kill this guy, please Yes Yeah, <laughs> yeah know your place trash Like <laughs> Yes, come on! Just, 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 just... Get, just... Oh my god, I am really astonished. In a, in a matter of seconds, this guy was able to make me so annoyed at him. Ugh. Probably because, like, her, her, um, no, wait, wait, it's, oh, huh. is she, like, upgrading her shield? Yeah, upgrading her shield, whoa! Damn, this music is really good. Okay. Oh, this is the buff that we saw in the trailer. <clears throat> all, all status started, status debuff negated. All, like, you know, attack up, defense up. What else? Like, you know, dodge up, speed up. <laughs> Okay, okay, move, move. Okay. <laughs> Naruto, this is Naruto run. <laughs> yeah, where are you looking at? Did his book turn into a sword? What? Hmm. Mm. 
Oh my god. I wonder how was she able to walk? Like... Yeah, I think so. That's why maybe... Yes, there you go! Yeah, that's not even not his own power, someone else's powers. What the? Whoa! What is happening? What the? What is this? Wait, it just turned into an eyes? <laughs> yeah. He's constantly like, you see that? Like, he's constantly looking here and there, trying to find out some way to. Oh my god, you're making a big mistake. Damn! What happened to her? She just got a random power boost. <laughs> Whoa. No, no, please, please defeat this guy. This is one of those. Oh, God. Yeah, what is... What, yeah, I, I was saying the same thing. What happened to her? She said this in the first episode. She remembered it then. Yo, Essina. Okay, that's his name. Whoa! Damn, that's the heart. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Losing the soul system. Oh my god. Oh, is this? Wait, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> is that a potion? Yeah, it's a potion, isn't it? <laughs> She's like, yeah, this is the good stuff. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah. All right. She needed that little time. She got it. <laughs> Yo. All right. Cut off his head. There you go. Oh, still not enough. Okay. Okay. The head is gone. Is it gone? Yes. All right. Wow. All right. There you go. Yes. Yeah. What about now? Trash. This guy's still tricking them. Trying to trick. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people like this. What is that? Ah. What? What's happening? What? Oh, he knew that. Okay, so...
Whoa! Okay. This is Iron Maiden. Oh no, Blood Sacrifice. What is this? Yes, yeah, Blood Sacrifice, isn't it? Ah. Uh... Okay. Shut up! Like, this guy is so annoying. We don't even need the rage shield. We can just defeat you all alone. Can s oh. Whoa, okay. Unlock Spirit Tortoise Heart Shield. Whoa, it's like a huge bone. Whoa, wait. Wait, he has wings now? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yo, that's a cool design. Oh my god. Yeah, wait, it's auto aiming. Oh, she's doing it. Oh my god. Ah, oh my god. Okay, so she used not used, but forcefully, I think, activated it and auto targeted it to the okay. Ah, oh. oh, that was a really cool design. However, oh, oh my god, she's gone. Okay, I think we should keep an eye on this guy. Yeah, why is this guy still yapping? Doesn't he realize he's going to get beaten up now? Wait, what? What was his goal? What's he going to do with this one? Can, can someone please stop? Oh my god, please don't let him get away. Please. I'm sick and tired of this crap. I'm tired of this crap of enemies running away. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. I need to use the address. After that. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, all right. I really hope so. I really hope so. Oh my god, whoa. Wait, so he cannot go there. The boom. Forbidden? Wait, how can they come? Wait, what's happening? Circum certain circumstances.
Wait, are we going to their world? Okay. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I was not expecting them to go to the other world. Oh, that's the end of the spirit tortoise. Wow. Okay, this. Oh, is this because of the souls? That's no. I think so. Or maybe because the souls got liberated. That's it. This was a really good episode. I, I, yeah, this was such a good episode. So much, so many things happened and wow. All right. Like I, I really like, you know, like I have to say, like, you know, give props to this show. Like how are they able to make villains this annoying? Like <laughs> in season one, <laughs> I, I, I feel like if I like you know when when season one was airing, I was not doing YouTube, and I feel like if <laughs> I did YouTube then and I reacted to that show uh, in season one, this show, I would have probably lost my mind while reacting to it. I, <laughs> this show is just <laughs> like it, it, the the characters in the show can get on your nerves and in a very annoying way. Like this guy, he was able to annoy me in a matter of few seconds. Like, I was like, please, like, let, like, like, please let this guy, this be the final episode that we see this guy. But no, they, they had to, they had to, like, you know, make him escape. But uh, Nafumi is following him, so I'm guessing we are going to, um, you know, like, bring an end to this guy within probably a few episodes after this. Uh, but yeah, like, as I said, like, good job. This show, like, is really able to. <laughs> make the people really annoyed at the enemy like you know at the <laughs> antagonistic characters <laughs> oh my god that's 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 hilarious i i feel like i got a little bit too pissed off this episode as soon as i was seeing this guy yeah like all right okay so <laughs> well, this was a really good episode i have to say like good good job this this was a very good episode and uh, we begin with um um yeah we begin with this guy uh talking about um, how ost is the heart and uh like you know ost like you know, reveals the the truth and uh, while the uh, tortoise outside is going crazy this guy here is um <clears throat> yeah like talking about how like you know he what, what did he say just a sec Oh no, the Philolial Queen comes in, I think. Yeah. And uh, she starts helping us out. And the guy, even though the Philolial Queen came in, the guy was like, oh, like, I think his name is Kyo. Is it Kyo or something like that. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm going to call him the book hero. And the book hero was like, mm, oh, the queen is here. It's not a problem. And I really was kind of um, curious as to why he felt so unbothered by everything that was happening. And he really was not bothered. It makes so much sense now because his real goal was something completely different, which he was able to bring, uh, he was able to fulfill. So he's not, his goal was not defending the spirit tortoise or using the spirit tortoise. It was something completely different. That's why he was so unbothered by everything that was happening. And even the filial queen came and he's like, ah, it's fine, you know, and all that. He was just, he was just wasting time. For 
him to like you know complete his actual job which is like gathering the spirit like you know souls or whatever so yeah now <clears throat> lark comes in and uh, and again i was so surprised i'm like how is he so unbothered like he's heavily outnumbered lark's team is here um naofumi's team is here and he's just like oh like you know nothing is the problem you know i'm i'm like you know it wouldn't be a problem i'm able to defeat uh, like you know defend this uh daughters on my own and uh, he does do a few things which was pretty powerful in its own for example he used the gravity thing to you know kind of drop them and at the same time he had the barrier protecting him as well these were also something that probably boosted his confidence that ah these people won't be able to do anything to me um he does say about how and we could see uh his vassal weapon the book is really not happy with his decisions and he says something like oh like you know like why you guys are fools you listen to your weapons i don't do that i do whatever the hell i want to and you know that scene where we see the book was kind of trembling it, it seemed as if he was trying to get away from this guy <laughs> while he's just you know grabbing the book and like you know using it on his own way and like she, he doesn't even care so basically this guy himself is the biggest problem and the vassal weapon itself is just being you know forcefully used so right he he says like an interesting thing here he says that like, uh, to lark he says that why are you guys trying to help like you know you like, know do something for this world either way you're going to like you know kill the people in this world you're going to destroy it here so why don't we take as much souls as we can but i think this one thing uh, lark himself kind of explained in the previous episode he himself said that even though we are at odds here both of our world's fates are like you know on our shoulders and we have to fight for our world survival we don't want something like this to happen which is just unnecessary sacrifice this is this this is what this guy is doing this book hero is doing is not because of necessity he's just doing this for his own gains and that is something that lark is not going to allow um even though they will have to fight by the end of it but that's because their the fate of their worlds are on their shoulders so that's something completely different so that is why he is trying to save the people here and it's interesting to see like when uh, this guy uses uh, the book hero uses his power uh, the book's power lark tried to intervene but raftali and philo they sh shoot straight ahead and like you know like intercept lark and goes ahead with the attack which shows how raftali and philo like and now for me as well they really don't want to borrow lark's uh, uh, lark's power which makes so much sense because ultimately this is a problem of this world so taking help from your enemies i'm pretty sure naofumi himself wouldn't allow that up until he has any amount of strength left you know, he would like to do it on his own so <clears throat> all right now we get to know that oh my god like uh, like <laughs> the heroes the three cardinal heroes I'm sorry guys like I know they, they they showed how they were suffering they were in like you know just field and everything but I really cannot I cannot like I don't feel any sympathy for them like the, the queen brought them in one place told them that this is happening you guys need to work together go like you know to the uh, spirit tortoise and stop it and they just left they just left they they didn't care and that then they that means they came here all alone i'm pretty sure these three of them probably did not come as a group they probably came alone and tried to do something to the spirit tortoise and got beaten up and like you know imprisoned like i i, I really cannot feel any like you know ounce of sympathy for them these people just don't learn like after like what can i say like laughing tried to you know work together with them 
you know i thought we came to an understanding by the end of season one they were kind of working together they were kind of a little bit mellowed out but no in the, in the beginning of season two they're, they're the same now they they have reverted back to their original thing like they they're doing whatever the hell they want to and look at like you know what happened now and you know what's so what can i say what is the most pathetic about this situation that itsuki the person who he like you know told that is i'm talking about rishia that oh you are not powerful enough this that blah 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 that same person is here and trying to save him that's the most pathetic part of this thing if i was itsuki i'd have i would have probably like you know shut myself up like you know in my room and probably not come out for one year after that um, amount of humiliation but ah i i doubt that's going to happen itsuki and these fools have such a thick skin nothing would probably put a dent in it so i'm i'm really looking forward to what's going to happen after they come to uh, like you know a realization that oh rishia and uh, the shield hero helped us out from our pathetic like you know like display of whatever and i i, I really can't wait and like you know this this is the whole thing that annoys me like i don't know what <laughs> I think I'm I'm hating a bit too much on them, but really I cannot. After season one, like seeing these three annoys me the hell, especially Itsuki, and I I, I doubt this is going to go away unless and until they get a drastic character development, which I'm pretty sure they will in the future, because these three characters are also you know like um like the main support cast, so I'm sure they will get some kind of a character development or something. Hopefully, I really hope so. So unless and until that happens, I'll keep hating on them. Like, you know, they, they keep doing these type of foolish things. And look at what happened. They came here. They didn't do anything. They wasn't, weren't able to do anything. They just helped out this guy with their weapons. Like now this guy is using their weapons as like a spare battery or something. Like some kind of spare energy source. Like what the hell? Like they, they just helped the enemy. They made our work even more difficult. That's what they did. That's what they accomplished. Great job, the three heroes. Wow. Ugh. Like, I cannot, I cannot feel any sort of sympathy for them. When I was seeing Rish, <laughs> when I was seeing Rish, you know, feeling like, you know, sympathy towards them, I was like, why? You know, these three <laughs> are just... I understand, you know, like, as I said, Rishia got, um, like, you know, saved by Itsuki, even though I doubt that was his intention, but still, you know, he was her savior at the end of the day, that's why he feels sympathy and, like, you know, all. but still, like, you know, after all the things that we went through in season one, no, I, I feel no ounce of sympathy, unless and until gay, they go through some drastic character development, you know, like, something amazing happens i doubt they are going to get any sort of sympathy from me from here onwards and they need to stop acting like fools they just made a fool out of themselves came here and just got captured and their enemy like you know their enemies are now using their weapons for as like a spare energy source like wow great and the person itsuki said that oh you're not strong enough that person is saving them now what, what a great display <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Okay, I feel like I, I just ranted about this situation for five to seven minutes. I'll stop now. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, oh my god. I, I cannot. I'm sorry. Alright, so that was that. Mm. So, okay, then this guy starts getting annoying, getting on my nerves. This Kyo, I think that was his guy, uh, this guy's name. Um, he like, uses the, the gravity power. And uh, like you know, and it's just like, everyone's just in the ground, unable to do anything. And as we see, you know, like he starts getting annoying, just starts kicking now for me, and like you know, saying stuff, just riling them up, and like you know, getting on our nerves. And um, obviously, Risha gets up now. I I think he was she was probably able to get up because of her key control, as the old woman said. You know, her key control is superior to everyone so that's why she was able to get up she's just moving forward and uh, <laughs> Risha does kind of <laughs> uh, what can I say says quite a few things to this guy which probably hurt his ego it's like oh you're the you're a coward like me you know you can't do anything you <laughs> 
borrow other people's power <laughs> and act as if you're tough you know all these things that's why you pretend to be strong you try to intimidate your enemies like a little animal <laughs> popping out its fur <laughs> oh my god wow i didn't know risha was taking uh you know like what do you call them like you know verbal lessons from <laughs> now for me as well <laughs> not only like you know physical training but some you know like some what do you call it roasting uh like you know like verbal abuse as well training on that as well like <laughs> good <laughs> he he roasted him so hard that <laughs> he got mad and he started you know like doing his own thing started attacking her but Risha was able to just you know like attack him and this guy got a little intimidated now here's the thing um as they say as Naofumi and his team say um we can see a drastic development in Risha here not only like you know her, her whole personality changed the way she's talking and everything changes here and um I, I really like that you know obviously this this shows like she is also getting to a big character development and i'm sure she'll get a lot better like we we saw how strong she was here and uh like like i feel like she she's more like a samurai i have to say you know like if i have to compare them like um now for me is the you know tank or the shielder um while raftalia i'll have to say raftalia is probably like a swordsman or a knight or something like that if i have to like you know assign a role to, for her i would probably give her like a swordsman or a knight that type of a role while rishia here i feel like she's more like a samurai you know like the way she fights the way that her stances and everything um it's more like a samurai which is interesting and uh, all right like while everything all of this was happening rishia was fighting you know uh Ost, upgrades now for me's shield a little bit kind of gives her the power and now now for me uses all liberation all liberation aura and it buffs everyone up and they again start attacking them now here's the thing i feel like the upgrade that now for me got here uh, that ost gave him um which as she explains later on it got unlocked because she he did not use the power of you know like the wrath shield that's why he got unlocked this power. Okay, I'm t I'll talk about this when that time comes. But for now, uh, she uh, like you know you give something to Naofumi in his shield. Now everyone's fighting while uh, this guy like uh, Kyo, I think that was his name. He, he like you know like Risha is fighting him. So using that opportunity, uh, Ost makes a like you know hole in the hole in the thing, and glasses team go out to deal with the spirit tortoise. While, uh, oh, Philo also joins him because uh, Naofumi tells her to go because she can talk to the queen, the Philolian queen, while Risha is fighting. So, okay, now, <laughs> this guy, he uses a few weird tricks. First of all, there was like a fire giant that comes up and when Risha slashes it, it becomes an ice giant. <laughs> And Risha talks about how he's also a trickster. You know, he lies, he tricks others, he tries to, like, you know, like, uh, tap into their, um, you know, weaknesses. Like, basically, he he's that type of a person. And, uh, like, we could see, like, you know, like, uh, his body movements and his, like, you know, eye movements was showing how, you know, he's, he's basically, what do you call it, that type of a character, like a trickster. Like, he's fighting, and at the same time, you could see his eyes moving from side to side. He's just looking here and there, trying to find out something, what he could use to, like, you know, manipulate the situation into his favor. And that's, like, you know, that's definitely, like, uh, like you know, like, the ways of a coward. You know, like, while fighting, he's not looking at the enemy. He's, he's looking here and there, trying to find out some way that she, he's able to get out of this situation. And... Um, like <laughs> yeah that was kind of funny to see how he was doing it like for a moment his like you know eyes kind of go um towards the heroes and he's like oh i will i'm going to use the heroes as hostage and you know as soon as he he sees that he can use the heroes 
He's like, oh, like I'm, I'm, okay, what does he say? Just a sec. Yeah, he looks at the hero and he's like, I should have tried to fight like a moron. I should have done this from the start. And <laughs> Risha's like, oh, you look like an idiot trying to take hostages at this point. And he just, she just breaks the glass and the, the heroes are out. So, like, he's, this is the thing. Like, he, he's not fighting. He's trying to find out a way to make this situation advantageous to him. And uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay, so as all of this was happening, Ost says, tells to uh, Nafumi that I have something to tell you. Like just like Rishia says, uh, this guy Kyo is is he is a coward, a trickster. So here, Ost tells them that he probably has some other plan. He, she warned Naofumi of this and probably like an host at that moment said that if he does something else if he tries to weasel out of the situation or tries to do something if he has some other plans you kill me because I am the heart you kill me and that will end all of these things and that's probably what host told Naofumi at that moment which we do see this guy was still tricking them trying to like you know like uh, what do you call it use the situation to his advantage uh, while all of this was happening outside, um, the the what's the name? Uh, the tortoise uh, was like you know using the beam thing while uh, the uh, the mages were also trying to stop stop the stop the tortoise. But it was like you know the tortoise was a bit stronger. Um, <clears throat> while uh, uh, what's his what's her name? Vittoria. Vittoria was also trying her best to stop. Uh, the tortoise now okay what happens here just a second okay um the amount of time that like uh, what do you call it the tortoise got a little bit distracted with the uh made the spell the multicasting spell that the mages were doing which helped uh Victoria out and gave her the opening that was needed and Victoria quickly go went in and kind of went through his throat I think which reduced his power and the multicasting spell was able to you know gain strength and defeat it and cut off the tortoise's head and this was the thing that we were waiting for the barrier gets broken and uh, oh and um, uh, what's his name uh, glass glass also gets a little potion from Naofumi which probably enhanced her strength or something and uh, the barrier gets broken and using this opportunity he goes there uh, what's his name uh, glass sorry not his uh, glass goes there and glass and all of them uses their power theories and lark gets the heart <laughs> okay so the barrier is broken after that and Kyo is acting as if oh what is this tricking them you know like how could this happen and then he's like ah just kidding gets up and uh, here he thought that everyone's going to get surprised at this but Nafumi is just calmly waiting because Oz told him that this probably was going to happen. There's a chance, there's like a 80% chance of this guy lying about this situation as well. So as Oz probably said, like if things go south, you kill me. And Nafumi, I guess he was trying to, probably something he was like, you know, he was trying to either like, you know, do, it was probably doing the blood sacrifice or was it the, it's probably the blood sacrifice he was trying to do. Which he was going to use on Oost to kill her or something. He was planning on doing that. Which also kind of freaked out Kyo for a moment. But Nafumi was not able to do it because he doesn't have any hatred for her. her. Now, this is the thing which unlocked his tortoise shield, I think. So basically what happened, so I'm guessing Oost gave that upgrade to Nafumi. And there was a condition. 
And if that condition got fulfilled, the power is going to get unlocked. So this is basically, I remember playing one of one game where I don't, I think it was Fable. If you guys know, uh, I think Fable 2 or something, or was it 1? I forgot. Anyways, uh, one of the Fable games where there is like a turning point in the game where if you accept a blade, a dark blade, like, you know, like you have to kill someone. It was like your sister or something, I don't know. Like, you know, and the dark blade would give you some immense power. You know, if you kill your sister, you're going to get that blade and you're going to get like a huge power boost. Or you can save your sister. I think it was your sister or something like that. If you save your sister, you won't get the power, like you know, blade. So obviously, like you know, I saved the sister and I thought I'm not going to get that blade. But in the future, I get like a what do you call it like a better like a good version of that blade like you know, a blade of light or something which is equally powerful to that so basically if you go towards the evil route you can easily get that the dark blade but if you don't go towards the evil route you'll get a similarly equally powered you know uh, blade which is like a good blade and uh, like it's like a branch in the game it happens you either go towards the evil route or the good route so same similar thing here it kind of reminded me of that if you tapped in into the uh, rage shield if Naofumi did that here he wouldn't get I think I think at least he wouldn't get the tortoise like you know the spirit tortoise's shield it would have probably locked it off because you know like hate the hatred was used if he did not use that you know like this shield got unlocked because he did not use hatred and uh, that's so i think something like that happened and that's why um ost was saying something like oh you don't have to worry about it you know like, like you did the correct thing and uh, the the shield is unlocked spirit tortoise heart shield has been force unlocked and uh, my god that was a, such a cool shield he even gets wings <laughs> and like you know his shield kind of becomes like a thing like a multi-targeting device where like beams come out and i think uh Oost forcefully targeted it towards the uh the core the spirit tortoise's core and shoots it and that's how Oost dies or is on the verge of dying and uh Joe is like ah it's okay like you know you've killed it so yeah nothing i can do about it i've got my thing you know he got he got the what he was wanting wanting for the 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 souls and he's like yep i'm out and uh, like here i was like oh my god please don't let this guy get away like i'm sick and tired of this whole crap of uh oh like you know see you later and the villains just running away and three seasons later we again meet that person like this freaking annoys me so much this whole this this trope in anime not only in anime in every and every like you know uh like you know, either movie or whatever like you know or, or tv shows this thing happens like you know the enemy just leaves <laughs> and he does the same thing here and uh, like you know if this was some other enemy i would have been like all right fine but this guy annoyed me so much i wanted to see him die in this episode really i i wanted to i wanted this episode to be the final episode where we see this guy but no he just goes away and i'm i was so annoyed i was like what the hell we'll again have to see his like you know his his face in the future episodes and uh, like while all of this was happening um Nafum tries to get in but he gets you kind know, of stopped like it was written like you cannot go there uh, while theris um, like you know lark and all of them go to their uh, world they do promise now for me that we're going to take care of this but now is like no like this is someone something from our world our comrade which is Ost got hurt because of this you know she, she had to sacrifice herself so we are going to end this we are not going to let this uh, like you know on their shoulders like you know put this on uh, Lark and on their like, you know, responsibility so that's when Ost is like all right and she does something she unlocks um okay Okay, wait a minute. Let me read this part first. Where she explains what happened to the shield. Um, you weren't swallowed up by rage and sorrow. That's why the spirit tortoise heart shield was on. There you go. So I'm, I'm guessing like if he used the rage shield here, he would have probably never gotten 
the spirit tortoise shield it would have kept being locked so as i said just like the video game that i explained if you go to to choose one thing you're going to get unlocked out of the other thing so him not using the rage shield here like you know unlock the spirit tortoise shield, which he would have probably never gotten if he used the sh rage shields uh like you know strength so yeah and uh, she's like, oh, like, you know, I've taken so many people's lives. She's still sad at my passing. Kind, gentle, shield hero. And uh, yeah, and then Nafu tries to go to the other side. It's written, the four cardinal heroes cannot invade another world. Which is kind of weird in a way, because how the hell can they come in over here then? You know, like, did they do something to come here? How are they able to come to our world while Nafum cannot go to their world? Uh, not only Nafum, but the four cardinal heroes cannot go there. So, Ost does something and something unlocks. Special permission, invasion of another world for the four heroes is now allowed under certain circumstances, conditions. It's written certain conditions, so I'm guessing not always they can go there. This is like a temporary permit or something. And uh, Nafum is like, all right, let's go. And Rishi also is like, all right, I'm I'm also going to go with you guys because you're also my comrade, like you know, my my teammates. And Ost is also my friend. So yeah. And then they go in. Uh, Ost is crying in the end, and she's like, if I'm reborn, I really hope I'll be able to I'll be able to help them out or do something good with my life. And you know, the spirit tortoise vanishes. I think the souls are unleashed. And is that the reason why the, the barren land, you know, like, like life starts growing out of it? It's probably that. The soul probably just, you know, like, it, like, like you know, the, the souls got unleashed. That's why new life is being born on the earth again. And the place becomes like a beautiful, you know, like green field. And Victoria is praying. And I'm, I'm pretty sure Fitur is also very happy because Nafmin did not use the Wrath Shield, which Victoria always warned him about. Do not use the Wrath Shield. And he did it this time. Yeah, that's how it ends. Fantastic episode. That was a really uh, enjoyable episode. And uh, I'm guessing I'm really excited for the next episode because we are going to a different world. That's really exciting. I'm, I, like, I'm really excited for the next one. But yeah, let's see what happens in the next week. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. This was my reaction. To the Rising of the Shield Hero, Season 2, Episode number 5 or 6? Six? 6, Episode number 6. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. That's it, thanks for watching guys, I will see you guys next week with another episode of the Rising of the Shield Hero. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.